feel like I'm being exploited, to be honest. Esther Nuofor is taking communication and media at the University of Calgary. Her fourth-year classes in the fall will likely be held online due to the pandemic, but the cost for tuition will be the same. It's like obviously not the same quality, and um, for the university to not like really give much empathy towards the students, especially during a worldwide pandemic. She started a petition calling on the school to lower tuition by 30 percent to make up for what she says is subpar education in comparison to in-person classes. Some students would do like pranks and stuff on the online calls, which um, give the profs like no choice but to just like mute the mics. But with muting the mics, it's, it's not like a two-way interaction, it's just like a one-way thing, but it's just like watching a YouTube video basically. U of C says it will be offering only 30% of its classes in person in the fall. The remaining 70% will be online. Let's say a student has an online course, um, let's say by 1 p.m. and at 1.50, and they have an in-person class at 2 p.m. Like they're talking, they're thinking about how they're going to get to campus that fast. Help has come to students from the federal government with the Canada Emergency Student Benefit, offering $1,250 to students per month from May till August and includes opportunities for more funding. But Nuafor says her university's response has been much different. Students just are just like dropping out of their courses right now because um, there's not really any accommodations being offered to them. It's basically business as usual. This petition is not one of a kind. A University of British Columbia student has started one, calling on that school to get rid of fees for things like lab use, transportation, and other facility amenities. It has over 6,000 signatures. It's going to be a, a really important movement in like reshaping education. City News reached out to the U of C's president and the student union, but didn't hear back in time for broadcast. Nuafor says she's going to try and gather more support and stay in touch with the student union to keep pushing for lowered tuition. In Calgary, Taylor Brott, City News.